Hey guys, it's me, Ro Wen Huang. It's a bit late today, but anyway. <laughs>、um, before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Ro Wen Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, I also want to answer the other question, which is also a question that people ask me a lot.、Um, I often ask.、Uh, People ask me like, how can they keep their child safe, right? And I'm not talking about you know, like going out, meeting bad people and all that. I'm talking more in spiritual level because, as I say, new generation is coming, and more and more people will start to realize that your kids、um, or other kids will tend to see or sense things more that our generation may or may not understand. So that is to say, a lot of parents、uh, may start to notice that it seems like their kids is able to see ghosts or spirits or fairy or various things, right? So because of that,、um, a lot of parent, a lot of time are in、um, puzzle. That that is, you know, why they do not see anything. Their kids do. Sometimes their kids are frightened or scared by the. The people or the ghosts or spirits like they encounter, like might create them trouble, right? And since the parents that they don't really see anything, they really don't know how to handle it. So that's why you know very often people will come and ask me how can they keep their child safe from that, right? Or not to be bothered by it and all that. So anyway, what I really want to say is.、Um, You will, you will never keep your kids safe forever.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> If we understand universal law, our job is really to teach our kids how to protect themselves, but not to protect them their whole life. Right. So,、um, to give you guys a little guideline, if you're not quite sure, you know when, what, what you should do. Before they were five year old, yes, it's our job to make sure you know we can keep them from harm, right? But when they go to five or ten years old, that's when you、um, are trying to coach them, like not to be、um, teach them how they can protect themselves so they can they won't be physically harmed by predator or bad guy. You call it. And when they are somewhere between ten and fifteen, is where you slowly coach them, and hopefully they can be emotionally or mental, mentally、um, prepared, so they won't be, you know, harmed by people. <laughs> But anyway, majority of things is we we tend to try to do it all for our kids. But really, our job is to. Give them knowledge or the skill, so they can slowly evolve and learn to protect themselves. So, anyway, so here、um, back to the question in regard of how to protect your kids from being in, you know, bothered by other spirits or the spirit that you do not see.、Um, I would say the best way is you, even though you see or you do not see, you. Can give out that you know, give out that vibe. Let me give you an idea. You know how, how、um, nature, nature they are very protective of their youngster, right? So like cat will be very protective of their、uh, kitten, or the bird will be very protective of their, you know, their bird. <laughs> so what I try to say is, you know that vibe they send out every time you want to get close. They have like. Don't get close to me, boy. If you really wanna protect your kids from、um, being bothered by your、uh, by spirits, the best way to do is you, as a house owner or the parents, can give up that vibe. Whether you see or you do not see, you have that vibe of this is my child. Don't touch it. That vibe is usually not only. Obvious to a human or any living things is especially obvious to the spirit. So, if you do encounter your kids being bothered by spirits, ghosts, or things like that, the best way to do is you, as a parent, center yourself, then send out a vibe, right, and then clearly 
clearly protect your parameter. Usually that's around your house. So if you always know what you are doing and you are always very certain about your vibe, the chances your kids will not be bothered by it. The reason it didn't work most of the time is really because majority of us, because if we don't see ghosts, we have that fear or we have that back noise to sit on our back and there's nothing I can do. Remember in spiritual world, you must hear me say this all the time. As soon as you trigger this, nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. So anyway, very simple thing. It's like you, you know, when we were a kid, we practice it all the time, right? My, my, don't touch it, my. Right, that's basically why you have to send out. And once you are very clear who you are, what your parameter is, and what it is you try to protect, that vibe can usually send a very clear signal to the spiritual world. But anyway, what I would really suggest is, as I talk about it earlier, I would not recommend you to do this all the time. If your kids are under five, I get it. But if your kids is over five year old, I would say the best solution to it is actually coach them, you know what, teach them, or even explaining them what you are doing. You know what I mean? They have to know who they are, and they have to know they own their body, and nobody, especially spirits, have no, no power to hurt them in any way. <clears throat> so just like if you, you were kids dealing with some bully at school, what would you tell them to do, right? You tell them to either walk away or you tell them to leave. Very simple. The same thing you can teach your kids to deal with spiritual world too. As long as you don't treat spirits, ghosts, or any other form that you do not see differently. They are simply just like everything they deal at school. It should be an easy solution. So anyway, I hope I give you guys a little bit idea. So let me quickly wrap it up. We are going to the new generation right now. So you will see more and more kids become more sensitive. They tend to be psychic even, or they will see, sense things way more. Sometimes as a parent, you, you may or may not see what they are seeing. What I'm trying to say here is it's okay. So even if you're dealing with a psychic kid and then you really try to protect them, but you don't know how, let me refresh you again. It's like you're dealing with physical things. It's like you're dealing with something that you actually see. So what you do is you center yourself. And if you have that back noise saying, there's nothing I can do. I cannot touch ghosts. I cannot do anything to them. Let it go. There's always something you can do. Center yourself. Send out a vibe. This is my kid. Back off. That vibe was sent out to the universe, very clear message. So practice on it, eventually you will get a hang, hang on it. But what I really hope is if your kids is approaching five or even between five to 10, really the best way to do is give them a little bit idea what they can do because you as a parent cannot follow them everywhere and anywhere, right? They, they have place to go and you cannot be with them 24 seven. So really the best way to do is coach them to practice that, to own their body, to own their space. Once they get a hang of it, you, you will see the improvement. They will know how to ask those unfriendly spirit to leave. So anyway, hope that give you guys a little bit idea. Again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to my <sighs> go to my, subscribe my YouTube channel or go to my website ruwen.com. Till then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.